Well, it's uh, June 28th today, and we are just uh, finishing up spraying and fertilizing uh, all of our customers' food plots. Uh, last, you know, last you saw in the first part of this episode, you've seen where we were planting them the end of May. About the end of May, we got everything planted. Uh, a little bit far, a little behind right now. We wanted to have everything done about a week ago, but in the last week, we've had about 10 inches of rain. In fact, this food plot we were just on today was still muddy. We had to kick it in four wheel drive once to get through there. So uh, on the fertilizing, we uh, use urea and MAP. Uh, the biggest thing I can say on fertilizing is go through and do a, do a soil sample. Let that soil sample tell you what and how much. You know, guys call and say, hey, how much fertilizer should I put on my corn? Uh, you know, it's hard to say without one knowing what the previous crop was uh, and taking an actual soil sample to know, you know, you could either be way, spending way too much money on fertilizer or really not spending enough and just wasting your money and not benefiting you uh, if you're not doing it correctly. So taking that soil sample will just tell you, hey, you need this many pounds of the nitrogen, phosphorus, you know, and so on. So, uh, and with spraying, uh, you know, all I can say is the, the biggest thing is to, uh, you know, we use glyphosate on, on these, uh, you know, the corn and beans are Roundup ready. So uh, we use glyphosate on that, Tomahawk to be exact. Uh, and uh, as far as the rate, you know, guys call and ask me that too. A lot of that just knowing your sprayer. You gotta know how much, how much uh, liquid your sprayer puts out per acre and then read the label and tell you from there and based on weed size. You know, today I think we sprayed about 44 ounces to the acre. Um, so that, that should clean them up real good. And uh, with all this rain, it should be, these food plots should be looking real good soon.